Hi, I'm uh, Jamil John Kochai, and um, this is the opening from my short story, Enough. <clears throat> Rangina does not know what to say to her brute of a son who will not stop shouting about pills or land or a stolen envelope of cash he meant to donate to the orphans of Logar because he's rambling now, absolutely rambling in front of her beloved daughters come all the way from Fremont to visit Rangina in this lonesome living room. Her son has decided to paint the most despicable shade of blue. Just sitting there, the poor girls watching their old mother get harangued by her only living son on the earth who is shouting, I found the torn envelope in your drawer of photos. And of course, there's no way for her to respond to all of his accusations without weeping like the child she had been one married off to a 60-year-old nomad at the precious age of 15 or 14, or who knows how old exactly, though Rangina did recall she was not too old to be playing with the dolls she fashioned out of clay from the edges of the rivers near where her youngest son would one day be murdered when her mother approached her in a coat of ash or dust or snowflakes and informed her that within the year she would be married and moved and pregnant, again and again pregnant, leading to so many little unmarked graves in the apple orchard beneath the falling blossoms, as if Allah, all praise be to him, were saying, look, I know, I know, but then there's this, until the baby stopped dying with the birth of her eldest son, the survivor, the rambler, still somehow rambling beneath the half-lit ceiling light he has failed to fix for the past three months, no matter how many times Rangina moans, this darkness will swallow me. His massive frame blocking the television and the fake fireplace and the cabinet containing Rangina's favorite photograph of Watak, his head shaved, his mustache barely sprouted, his soft lashes sparkling with frost, his lips slightly parted as if he is about to speak. Thank you. <laughs>